Do you believe you have to work hard for your money? Do you believe you have to sacrifice everything for success? This used to be my belief too. And I'm freshly reminded of it because I went to a musical last night on The Temptations. And this was a story that I wholeheartedly believed for the longest period of time. And because I believed it, that is how I acted in my life. Like for instance, when I was an executive, I was working like 80 hours a week easily. I, I would be at work at 6, 6.30 in the morning. I wouldn't stop working until nine or 10 o'clock at night. I would do this Monday through Saturday. <laughs> I would save a little bit of time for my family on Sunday. I was multitasking in multiple ways to try to fit everything in. And this is how my life was for a long period of time. That is my cat. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to talk to you because when I watched this musical, it was such a slap in my face of this old belief system where the, the Temptation Band, you know, they they just were on the road 24-7 um, going from place to place to place singing and they weren't really creating anything else in their life. So if the, you have a balance in your life, a pillar whatever that may be, uh, most people, apparently, <laughs> research tells us that most people want health, they want wealth, and they want relationships. So their ability for wealth was compromising their relationships. They all had failed relationships and they all had failed health. They all died super young, except for Otis. Um, so anyway, I just was thinking about this and I wanted to reach out to you guys because so many of us believed this illusion and this story. And as I was listening to my musical last night, I was like rejecting this the whole time and I was self-coaching and I was like, no, 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 no. Like I have success without sacrificing my family and without sacrificing my health. In fact, those are priorities to me just as much as my wealth is. And I make time for all of these things. And the fact is, and this is what I want to speak to you of, I have transformed so much of my beliefs. I don't, I don't put everything on my shoulders now. I don't try, 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 work, 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 because at a certain point, it gets you to failed health and broken down relationships. And where I operate from today is that I trust. I trust that I am co-creating with the universe. I trust the power of my words. I set my intentions. I release them. Now, do I take the actions? Yes, absolutely. Am I committed? Am I accountable? Am I responsible? Yes. But I also let go and I trust and I say, you know what? Everything is going to work out how it needs to work out for my highest good. And I let go of so much. So even, even when it comes to like, you know, like let's take marketing and doing videos. If I don't feel like doing a video, I don't force myself to do it because I know that the right inspired time is going to come for me. I know that I will have the energy that aligns with it and I will do it. So I just wanted to reach out to you all because you may be feeling the same way and I am here to help you. One of the things that is my jam for coaching is overachievers, perfectionism, those kind of things because I was there, I can relate, and I know what it's like to be on the other side. So you guys matter. I'm sending you so much love. And here's like a toast, a cheers, a non-alcoholic cheers because I am a non-drinker. So here's a invisible energetic cheers to living the life that you want without having to sacrifice everything. You can have your cake and ice cream too, baby. You can have it. So anyway, I just wanted to say you can have your wealth, your health, and your relationships. They all can be balanced. You can have them all at the same time or, you know, a shifting time. So take care.